Hey my loves, welcome back to my channel. My name is Grace and my channel's name is Grace Deling. If you're tuning for the first time, you are welcome. And if you're a returning subscriber, hi. So today's video, we're going to talk about sunscreens for all skin types. Yes, particularly for my melanin queen. So when it comes to sunscreens, there are like different types. You have the chemical sunscreen, mineral sunscreen, and the clean sunscreens. In today's video, we're not going to dive into that. We're just going to talk about affordable sunscreens that are great for our skin, that caters to dry skin people, oily skin people, and color people. Let's go. First sunscreen is a super goop unseen sunscreen. Now, this is a weightless, undetectable, scentless sunscreen. In my opinion, it's the best affordable sunscreen for oily skin babes. Undetectable. It seeps into your skin and zero white cast it is literally transparent it's not possible for it to give you a white cast it's a chemical sunscreen so i'm like i'm blown because most chemical sunscreens kind of end up giving you a bit of a white tint but this particular one absolutely does not give you a white tint it has zero alcohols it has no parabens like where have you been this is the current retail price as of today. The next one is the OG before the other G's came out. This was everybody's go-to before the other babes came out in the streets. Okay? This is the Neutrogena's sunscreen. It is lightweight, non-sticky, but the thing is, I believe it is great for people who have combo skin. Because it's neither drying, neither is it sticky. Like, it's just there. So you can use it as a dry skin person or an oily skin person. The only issue with this particular sunscreen is it might give you a bit of a white cast because it's a chemical sunscreen. Now, it's a bit runny. It has perfume. It's affordable. It is great, but it is not the best. There are other ones in the market right now. But if you're a combo skin person, this is one sunscreen you should be looking at. This is the current retail price as of today. Next one is the OG for the 3G. In my opinion, yeah, this particular sunscreen, you can use it if you're combo or dry. It's the Fenty sunscreen. It is such a beautiful sunscreen because it doubles off as a moisturizer as well. Personally, I love using this particular sunscreen towards the Hamatan slash winter period because then my skin changes from oily skin to dry skin. And in that particular season, I like to infuse as much moisture as possible. But during the summer or the regular Nigerian weather, as a Nigerian in Nigeria, using fancy sunscreen and going out in the sun in Nigeria, <laughs> you're coming back filled with oil. It has safflower seed oil. It's an antioxidant, so it's going to help prevent the harmful effects of free radicals that are being emitted on a daily basis. Safflower seed oil also help in premature aging. So if you're already seeing fine lines and wrinkles, you should use this. Another thing I know this sunscreen has is some brightening effect. It gives you an immediate radiance. It's such a beautiful sunscreen to use. I wish I could use this throughout the seasons, but as an oily skin person, I can't do that. It has niacinamide and this is amazing for those who have acne. When I was using the sun, the Fenty sunscreen, baby, I love that thing. Like my face and my acne wasn't as crazy and it still isn't crazy, but it's just the oily part, you know? It's just the oily part, babe. It has fragrance in it, which might be disturbing to a lot of people and, and to others, they may not care, but personally, it might be a lot, you get it. The next one is a La Rouge Perseus sunscreen. Now this particular one is runny. You know when this something is called Oshimaria Tata? This is Oshimaria Tata. This particular sunscreen is runny. It's, it's just run. It's too runny. But aside that, it is very lightweight and it is great for my oily skin. Babes. It's a mineral sunscreen, so you shouldn't worry about white casts and all that. It doesn't leave it a white cast. It seeps seamlessly into your skin. It also seeps seamlessly into your hairline. So if you're the type that has um, facial hair and stuff like that, you shouldn't worry about it leaving like residue on your facial hairs. It has a broad spectrum formulation with antioxidants inside of it personally i love it because it is oil free like i said it is it is one sunscreen that is amazing if you're an oily skin babe the only part that i really don't like is how runny it is it's just wait it literally drips down your body like i don't like that the 
next one is a black girl sunscreen okay like it says it's for the black babes give it up for the melanin queens give it up for the melanin queens so it is amazing for black skin dry skin babes i'm not even gonna lie i'm not even going to paint it like sugar spice and everything nice if you use this sunscreen as an oily skin babe by the step out of your house you and oil will be dancing a willow lucumba it's not the best for oily skin babes it is an amazing sunscreen if you're dry skin in my opinion it has this tingling effect when you around the eyes that i really really don't like but if it's something you don't mind when then by all means you can get it but it's a beautiful formulation it's a beautiful sunscreen it's for black skin dry skin babes because it gives you a pump load of moisture so it's not like one of those lightweight sunscreens that just in less than five minutes your face is dry again this particular one plumps up your skin so like i said it's for it's particularly for dry skin people in my opinion the next one is the misha aqua 50 plus now i've been using this particular sunscreen for a very long time because it is super lightweight it's it doesn't have any crazy perfumey smell it it's it's not too runny but at the same time it's very lightweight and it seeps seamlessly into your skin in my skincare routine i did use that particular sunscreen and i showed you guys how i apply my sunscreen now the down part to this particular sunscreen is that you would feel a certain kind of sensation under your eyes after some time in the sun you would i don't think it is properly water resistant if that is even a word so when you go out in the open you need a handkerchief to dab in because then you have like this weird white cast rolling down your face is just a lot but it is a great sunscreen if you're oil if you're oily or dry skin it has a a good load of moisture so if you're dry skin you can use this if you're oily skin you can use this but if you're oily skin and you're going out in the sun please have a handkerchief or something to dab your face because you're going to have sunscreen gene um, or you rotate all over your face and that's not good but based on the price it is amazing it is great it's a great addition to your everyday sunscreen if you're the type that doesn't necessarily go under like super hot sun if you're moving from a cold ac car to a cold ac office then you shouldn't have a problem you would really 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 love this sunscreen because it's super light to seep into your skin seamlessly and it is great with makeup as well finally which is like one of the faves in the internet today is a ruto skin aqua sunscreen this is the current retail price it is very affordable it is lightweight it is great for oily skin people may not be the best for dry skin people because you would feel it has a matte effect that it gives to the face it is great with makeup but like i said if you're dry skin you have to go in with a moisturizer before applying the sunscreen just to give your face that extra boost of moisture so thank you so much for watching through to the end of the video i'm sure by now you have an idea as to which sunscreen will be great for you as a dry skin or oily skin or combo person but you should also note that you also have to apply your sunscreen 15 minutes before entering the sun it is super important so that the products get activated before you're exposed to the sun rays also do well to take your sunscreen down at night using baby wipes or cleansing your face with your favorite cleanser thank you for sticking with me to this point and i will see you in my next one bye